So about a week ago, Microsoft released their new AI agent Magne Magentic One, a generalist multi-agent system for solving complex tasks. So today I want to test this out. I have installed it. I am ready to test it. So I made a few challenges here I wanted to solve. So you can see I want to find information about Elon Musk's new government role. So I learn about that today. So I want to see how much it is up to date. I wanted to find my YouTube video on AI agents, watch it, give me a summary, write an advanced snake game with a unique feature, update me, it says me, on a new Quen, on the new Quen 2.530B coder model that I heard a lot of impressive stuff about, and research a very hot topic in AI for my next video, just to see what I get back. So these are kind of the challenges uh, I want to do today. Uh, let's go back to the slide here. And just take a quick look. So basically, we're not going to dive into the paper. You can read that for yourself. But we have like a simple orchestration here. So we have like an orchestrator that kind of controls the agent. We have one agent that is the file surfer. I can zoom in a bit here, right? Oops. Scroll down. We have the file surfer that can access images, extract codes. We have the web surfer that navigates the web, gets information. We have a coder that can write code execute code and it's pretty interesting and I've been testing it just a bit and it looks very impressive so I think we're just gonna start by looking at the first uh, task or challenge we have uh, for today so let me just head over to code and let's get started but first if you want to install this for yourself they have an open github here so you can basically just install it from here you just gotta follow the instructions here uh, in this video I'm not gonna do like a tutorial how to set it up but they made it pretty simple, right? Uh, we have the setup and usage here. You just need to clone it, go into the install the, the dependencies, install Playwright, and you might need a Docker setup too, but it's very simple to set up. And then you can just dive into the examples that we are gonna do today. So if we head over to the code here, um, like I said, we're not gonna go through every single thing here, but you can see the examples, I hope you can. Uh, we have a coder, a file surfer, a web surfer, and we can combine this we can store screenshots, we can write code in our CVD here, and that is what we are going to look at today. Uh, but the way I'm going to run this now is in my terminal. So I kind of set this up so we can open the screenshots it's going to take. I put on like save screenshot and human in the loop mode, so we can kind of interact with it as we go. That makes it a bit more easy to take a look at the results, right? So uh, I think we're just going to run this now, start with our first challenge, look up the Elon Musk thing. And yeah, let's take it from there. So when we run this now, you can see we get into this where we can kind of do our initial prompt here. And here I'm just going to put in what the first challenge was, right? So I'm just going to do find some information about Elon Musk's new GovRoll for me. Summarize it in, I was going to say two sentences. Okay, so you can see we have a user proxy. That is my input. And now it's going to go to the orchestrator, I think. Yeah, we're going to need a plan. So it's going to write like an initial plan here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go through every single step of the plan here because I kind of want to follow along here. So you can see it went, took a screenshot and here you can kind of see it has all the elements of the Bing search page. So it kind of knows where to go next. So you can see it did search for Elon Musk new government role 2023. Okay, that doesn't look too good. But let's see now uh, if it follows up with something else here. And it's also scraping the websites it's go to. So you can see, okay, now it kind of has the elements on the website, so it knows where to click next. That is pretty interesting. And it goes ahead, do some more screenshots. It says, please click on the article, Trump appoints Elon Musk to Doge. Now we go into, yeah, new US government department, okay. So far it's looking pretty good. And now it's going to try to summarize it. Okay. It's fine, that's the same screenshot. And there we got it, request satisfied. And that means that kind of our initial um, thing was uh, completed. And we have like a final answer here from the orchestrator. So we can read it. Uh, let me zoom in a bit. Elon Musk has been appointed the head of the US Department of uh, Government, Doge, under President-elect Donald Trump. This role enables Trump to participate in decision-making with the government, despite not being eligible to run for president. Okay, I think that was pretty okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I got what I asked for. Two sentences, that was perfect instruction following. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I gotta give this like a big check. 
So let's move on to our next request, shall we? And that is gonna be to go to my YouTube video uh, that I kind of linked in here, right? And take incremental screenshot of the first minute of the video, uh, get the gist of what it's about, give the customer a summary. So I, I kind of wanted to see what happens when we give it like a uh, exact URL, right? And if it's gonna go straight to that, or if it's gonna do like incremental screenshots to solve this. Uh, first now, it's probably just gonna do the same as it did last time, just complete a plan, right? So we can watch the plan, so here's the plan, request uh, the URL as the web surfer. Okay, so it's gonna present a summary. Uh, again, we have the, kind of the same screenshots here. Now it's gonna visit the specific uh, URL address. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And yeah, here you can see it. Now it kind of gets this, so it has to pass this, um, yeah, accept all thing here for cookies, I guess. So it's gonna probably mark those elements, that's good. Uh, next, uh, to accept the cookies, uh, press uh, accept, I guess. Right? Yeah. Okay, so it did that, it got past that point. But now it kind of has to uh, watch the ads, I guess. So that's pretty strange. Uh, does it say anything here? Not really. It's kind of scraped the information on that page. We might get into some issues here. It's still watching the ads. Okay. Uh, start the video and listen understand the first minute of the content. Okay. Click play button to provide the initial summary. Okay. Wow, it started the video. So that's three seconds of my video. Pretty cool. Here's a screenshot, automatic OCR has been detected, following text, please continue watching the first minute. I can't really see how far it's gotten, 17 seconds, here's the summary so far. Okay, so we got the final answer here, so uh, I checked the first minute of the video titled AI Agents 101 Masterclass. Uh, introduces, focuses on AI agent, highlighting tool use and footage, function calling, mentions Claude 3.5. Uh, I wouldn't say this was perfect, because it didn't really, I think it gave up too soon, but it was a very good start, and I think with a different prompt here, uh, I could have gotten more out of this, so this is something I might try in the future, but uh, very promising, uh, very promising, so that, that I'm gonna give that a pass too, because it kind of did exactly what I wanted up until it should maybe have taken some more screenshots, but uh, very interesting. So now the challenge is going to be to write an advanced snake game with a unique feature. So now we kind of need to switch up our code because now I want to use the code example code.py, right? So uh, let me just show you here how I do this. So now I'm just going to switch it up to Python example coder. I'm going to add in uh, human in the loop mode, save screenshot, file surfer. So let's just run this now, right? And we're probably going to uh, use some user input. So now we are not using screenshots. Uh, even though I just put it in there, but we are not using screenshots now. So let me just come up with a prompt and we're gonna follow along in the side here in our CVD to see if we add some code here. So I'm gonna try the prompt. The customer needs a new snake game with a unique feature. Plan out the new feature for the snake game. Create a file snake game.py, write the code for the game, test it and report back. <laughs> so I don't know uh, what's gonna happen here now, but it's probably gonna do kind of the same thing. Make a plan, try to do that incrementally and come back with something, right? But uh, let's just wait for the plan here to see what we have here. Okay, so the plan was to understand the goal, create a new stake game, uh, develop the new feature. So the future ID is gonna be implement a speed boost feature where the snake can temporarily move faster with a specific key is press. Press the B key to activate speed boost. Okay, so that is our feature. Develop the game, test the game, report back. So the first step is gonna be to develop the game. So we wrote some code, okay, interesting. Uh, instructions, save the abo code in snakegame.py. Run the script, uh, okay, here's the code. And now we're gonna have to confirm, right, do you want to proceed? So I think when I type yes now, we're gonna create this file here, snakegame.py, okay. No module name, Pygame. So let's try to install that module. So I'm just gonna do install Pygame module, please. I have to confirm again. We wrote the temporary code. Pip install QQQ Pygame, okay. The script ran. Uh, and now I think we can actually try to run the code. 
So let's go into the code it wrote here to just to check it out and then we can try to run it. Okay, so let's run this now. Okay, the game is at least working. Can we make it a bit bigger? Doesn't look like that, but that's fine. Uh, let's try it out now. So yeah, that works. Can I catch that? Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's test the special feature. That was B, right? For speed boost. Okay, that worked. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So we can speed it up. God, I suck at this. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we got a, a snake game with a special feature that is speed up. And can we quit? Perfect. I gotta give that a pass. It wasn't the most interesting, unique feature, but uh, it did something. Okay, so next we wanted to actually update uh, me on the new Quen 2B32B coder model. Uh, I just want to have some information about it, and uh, I haven't looked into it too much, so let me try to come up with a prompt here and see if uh, Magentic One can do some research for us. So let's go with the prompt. The customer needs information about the new Quen 2.5B32 LLM model. Find some benchmarks, compare it to other models, return a list of findings. So for this, I think we just want to follow along with the screenshots again. I find that pretty interesting. It's kind of cool to just look up what's going to happen. Uh, but again, we're going to do a plan here, I guess. And yeah, you can see it's going to start with a search here, I guess, on Bing. Okay, so you can see it's search for Quen 2 Coder Turby Bundle Benchmarks. It finds Simon Willison's weblog. That could be a good resource, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is selecting this as an element. Is it gonna click into it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so here you can kind of see all the benchmarks. That's a very good find for this, I think. Uh, it's an element that codes well. So it's gonna extract some information from uh, Simon Willison's webpage here. Request satisfied already. That was pretty quick. Okay, that didn't take long. So I kind of want my final answer here. Uh, here we got it. Final answer. So here's a summary uh, for the finding for Simon Wilson's blog. Overview, open source release model, ability to run effective devices, benchmarks, claiming to match coding abilities of GPT-4. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Impressively encoding benchmarks similar to 3.5 Sonnet 2. Performance comparison, uh, comparisons in code, editing benchmarks. Okay, so we have some scores. This comparison highlights 2.5's competitiveness with other industry-leading models in terms of coding. So maybe not the most interesting uh, answer, but pretty good. And I really like that it kind of picked this resource here. That was a good find for this. I don't know, maybe it was something that just popped up if you go back to the Bing page here. Uh, Quen2 Coder 32 LLM model benchmark. It was kind of the first thing they found here. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty interesting. Uh, we could, of course, expanded more on this, but again, I think this was kind of what I was looking for. So the final thing I wanted to do was try to do some research, a very hot topic in AI for my next video. Uh, this is probably going to fail, but let's try it anyway, right? Just to see what it comes up with here, because, yeah, these systems are not uh, ready to do this kind of stuff. But uh, let's give it a chance. Uh, let me write the prompt here. So I think we're just gonna go, I need three different ideas for my next YouTube video, find trending topics around AI agent, agentic AI, use Google Trends, similar, search YouTube to find popular topics, return a list of three different ideas. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to expect here, but 99% this is gonna be a crap. Uh, I don't think agents are good enough to do this, but I'm gonna give it a chance and I can really evaluate if this is gonna be a good, uh, good idea or not so let's check it out here okay so let's see now um like i said before i don't think this is gonna work because uh yeah but at least i have kind of the uh knowledge to understand if this is a good idea or not so it looks to start to going directly to trends.google.com at least i think that's a good start at least uh i don't know how else i think youtube is maybe a better place but uh Let's see now. Okay, so it got to Google.trends. That's good. So let's see what it does on this page. Okay, so we kind of search for AI agent agentic AI here on Google Trends, but this does not really give us anything. It doesn't look like it. 
Okay, now it goes back to Bing. Uh, that's a good idea, I think. Look for videos, maybe? Let's see over here. Okay, so it looks like he just gave up here. Uh, it couldn't really find anything as expected, but let's just look at the final result here when we get it, and I can do like a quick evaluation of the titles here. The future of AI agent achieving autonomy with GPT-5. Explained. How will... Well, no, that, that's too generic, too boring. Not very specific. So that's a big burp. But uh, at least it did something right, I think. But maybe with better instructions, we could have gotten something else. But uh, this was maybe the worst of it. But uh, yeah, I guess it tried. So to quickly sum this up, uh, the first one, uh, I think that was good. Watched my video. Uh, yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it was okay. Uh, the unique feature snake game, that was good. Uh, I think it did also a good job on the Quen model. Uh, this one was uh, a big fail, if you ask me. Uh, the topics are too boring, too generic, and not very interesting. But uh, overall, if it did 4 out of 5, maybe 3 was good, 4 was okay, 5. It didn't get 5, that was bad. But overall, a very enjoyable experience. And I think there are some potential here in this multi-agent system for solving complex tasks. Uh, I'm gonna look a bit more into the coding part of it because I didn't spend much time uh, preparing for this video on that. Maybe they have some examples here. I don't know. I think we're gonna skip that. We have looked at many examples. But it is at least interesting and these systems are getting better almost each month or week at least. Almost, I mean. So very interesting to follow this space. As you know on this channel we are following AI agents very closely. And I'm going to update it when we have something interesting. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again in just a few days.